This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. In 1952 near Hosten, Belgium, a car built by Rover set a land speed record by exceeding 150 miles per hour, even though this car was not the fastest car in the world at the time. That title belonged to the Jaguar XK120 that reached 172 miles per hour. Wait a second. How can it be that the Rover set the record but is not the fastest car? Well, the name of the Rover happens to be Rover Jet 1 and it set the land speed record as the first car powered by a turbine engine. A turbine engine doesn't work like a reciprocating engine, but in theory, it's similar. You pull in air, you compress it, you burn the fuel with it and use the gas generated to spin a turbine. The turbine is the difference. Now, you can see the advantages of using this engine on a car, right? The output is already rotational, they are very efficient and can burn virtually any fuel. As a matter of fact, Chrysler also launched the turbine car in 1963 and just for fun they ran it on cooking oil, brandy and Chanel No. 5. Yes, the perfume. And that brings up the question, why aren't cars powered by turbines? Well, to be honest, I don't really know. And I think the best way to find out is to build one. Unfortunately, I'm on a tight budget and cars tend to be expensive. Luckily, I have the next best thing, a mountain skateboard. It's like a tiny car. Now, I'm also gonna need a turbine. That's pretty obvious. And to get one, it should be easy enough. I can just 3D print one. As a matter of fact, I already did. Here it is. Now, this is not just any turbine. This is a very special geometry, because this is a replica of the turbine used in the V2 rocket. You see, a while ago I went to the rocket center in Huntsville, Alabama, and there they have an original V2 rocket, the grandfather to all rockets used nowadays. Now, while I was there, I was able to look at the skeleton of a V2 rocket and take some measurements of the turbine. What is special about this turbine is the fact that it's powered by steam and was able to put out enough power to pump a thousand kilograms of liquid oxygen in just 60 seconds. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty darn impressive. Now, my only problem with this turbine is the fact that it's made out of plastic. This is one of those rare occasions in which I actually want it to be heavy, because the more mass it has, the more humped it has. You know, the more strength. It's gonna work like a flywheel. Um, the obvious choice is to go with metal. So I'm thinking instead of 3D printing this, I can 3D print this. You see, it's possible to print parts in metal. If you have a machine that costs about a Brazilian dollars. Or at least that's what I thought. I found this website called JLCPCB, I guess they also make PCBs, and you can upload a file to their website, and they will print your part in like high quality plastic or metal for a relatively cheap price. I mean, it doesn't cost a reptilian dollars. It says here that it's gonna take about 12 days for the part to get here, which is not that bad. I've waited longer for Amazon packages. I guess I finally have time to watch One Piece. 12 days later. Already? I'm still on episode 234. Oh, let's get the package. The turbine has just arrived. Let's have a look. Okay. Packaging, packaging. And there you go. Look at it. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's pretty heavy. Okay. Can barely wait to put this on something. Let's give it a test. Okay, let's do a test. Yeah. Compressor. It's stuck. <clears throat> let's give it a go. <laughs> Sponsor time. Anxiety is something really weird, because sometimes it strikes out of nowhere with no apparent reason. The best way I have to describe it is a tightness in the chest and a strong pull to go somewhere safe and comfortable. For a long time I thought I didn't need any help, and it made sense to me because I'm an extroverted person, I like talking to people and I like being outside. But then I would have these really bad days in which I would get completely paralyzed. For the sake of it I decided to try therapy, because why not? And to my surprise, it worked. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. This will not be an overnight remedy and it will not eradicate the problem completely, but it will make all the difference. 
Firstly, because you'll be externalizing the problem, which is really good. And second, because you'll have a trained professional that will help you cope with the problem in a way that it no longer paralyzes you. If your mental health is being troubled by anxiety or any other problems, I would recommend using the services of the paid partner of this video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp connects you with a credentialed therapist who is trained to give you helpful and unbiased advice. You can have your therapy as a phone call, a video chat, or even messaging if you prefer. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist that can support you, all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash Integza and enjoy a special discount on your first month. By clicking the link in the description, you're not just getting the help you need, but also helping this channel. And to that I have to say, thank you. Back to the video. It's a little bit preoccupying how fast this is going with just the 8 bars from my tiny compressor. I mean, if it's reaching 6000 RPM with just this pressure, imagine when 20 bar or 50 bar. Nonetheless, uh, power is not just speed, so let's see if this can lift some weight. So I 3D printed two pulleys in PLA and I'm using a timing belt to reduce this three times in speed so I can get some more strength. Down here, I have a 2.5 kilogram weight, which I'm gonna try to lift with this setup. Um, it's connected via shoelace up here to the pulley. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Not even a struggle. That was too easy. This turbine would make its ancestors proud. I mean, this weight was no challenge at all. But do you know what's going to be a challenge? Me. I mean, it's going to take a pretty angry turbine to move this chunk of meat. I'm going to be honest with you. I put on a few pounds since Christmas. Let's say this design has more fillets now. My diameter has increased. Gravity has a crush on me. My energy storage is at an all-time high. So, I did some calculations and I need to gear down the turbine about 16 times so the skateboard is able to move my voluptuous body. The problem is 6000 RPM divided by 16 is 375 RPM, which knowing the diameter of the wheel is about 192 millimeters, that corresponds to a final speed of about 13 kilometers per hour. So no, I'm not going to be Lightning McQueen here, but you know what they say, you gotta crawl before you walk, or in this case, you gotta ka-chow before you ka-pow. Anyway, uh, I need to print some gears. There you go. It's very ready. Okay, moment of truth. Let me get on this. I've no I'm not very good with skateboards. Um let's see if this can move me body. In three, two, one, full blast! <laughs> that was really good. I mean it's not very exciting, but my math was spot on. It's about 13 kilometers per hour. The only problem is my shop is a little bit short. I would like to test this outside, but I can't really bring my compressor with me. I need another solution that's a little bit more portable. I think I have an idea. This is liquid nitrogen, which is known for being super cold. What you're seeing now, it's the liquid nitrogen boiling at room temperature, but it also has another cool property. Did you get it? Cool property? If you heat it up, this liquid turns into a gas and it occupies 700 times more space than in its liquid form. It's like a steam generator for a steam engine, except in this case I don't really think I need a very fancy boiler. I can just use a closed container and heat it up to generate enough pressure and gas to move me. But that's just a theory. I've never worked with liquid nitrogen in my life. I have these stainless steel camping cups and I'm thinking about welding them together to make a container. I mean, technically it's not welding, it's brazing. I know I'm gonna get corrected in the comments, so I might as well correct myself. I also need an inlet to pour the liquid nitrogen and an outlet to connect to the nozzle and something to measure the pressure so it doesn't blow up in my face. Let's try and pour liquid nitrogen inside of this. Oh, 
Is the pressure rising? Oh, quickly. I didn't even turn on the flame yet. Oh, I think I need to release the pressure. I already don't have a lot of it. So I think I'm just gonna try to pour it in the skateboard uh, and try to use it. At least uh, try to use it once, yeah. Okay, the pressure is rising. I'm gonna wait a little bit until I open this up. Oh, it works. Can I hold it? My hands are freezing. It works, but it's gonna require a little bit more uh, design and testing. And honestly, I don't really have the time for that right now. I'll do that on another video. I think I need to find a simpler solution. And the simpler solution is just getting high pressure nitrogen gas. A 200 bar container of nitrogen gas to be more specific. Now, I'm not gonna be using 200 bar. I'm not that crazy. I'm going to reduce this to 10 bar or 20 bar, and I think that should be more than enough. Let's give it a go. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> well, that works much better. Let's do it again. <laughs> Full blast! <laughs> yeah, let's take it outside. Here we go. Moment of truth. There's not a lot of space. Okay. Yeah. I never thought about the problem of not having steering. So I think I need to align the, the skateboard perfectly with the road so I can make this work. But it's, it's giving a lot of power. I mean, I'm only using 10 bars, which is just two more bars than the compressor. Maybe I'll try a little bit more. But first, let's get a little bit of practice. Yeah, let's reset the stuff. That was a good one! Well, that was pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. Yeah, on the next time I should probably add steering to the tiny car. As you might have noticed, I used a lot of 3D printed parts in this project. If you also like 3D printing, well, you're in luck because I'm giving away a 3D printer in this video. And all you have to do to win it is subscribe to the channel, leave a like in this video, and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will win a brand new 3D printer. Well, um, well, this is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching, and remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya!